Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we're talking about how these leftists in the media right now and a lot of leftists online, the ones supporting these riots and the protests and the BLM stuff, all these woke people are starting to demand that companies get woke with them. A lot of companies have been called out and been saying, hey, you guys need to speak up. You guys need to support Black Lives Matter. You guys need to do this or do that. They want everyone to be woke with them. So companies that don't kowtow enough or right away are getting called out and getting kind of like bullied into this activism. They want everyone to speak out. Lots of companies have already caved in. We've seen Nintendo, Sony, movie places like Star Wars, Disney, Bethesda video game studios, all these places, they're kowtowing and they're getting forced into the support. They have to post stuff on social media. They have to black out their accounts on certain days, change their profile picture to the rainbow LGBTQ flag. All this stuff has been going on a lot recently. It's related to this kinds of chaos going on in these cities, these demonstrations gone wrong. And it also has to do with a Pride Month right now, the political discourse peaking, the elections coming up in November. A lot of stuff's been going on. The virus is still going on in the background. I mean, it's a chaotic time and the corporations are getting attacked a lot because of that. Now, I'm not trying to play defense for a bunch of billionaires. Like I'm not trying to say, oh, I feel sorry for these guys. You know, it's not the end of the world, but they are caving in. They are doing dumb stuff. They are kind of getting woke, going along with things. And Today we've got a specific one to talk about. We're talking about Legos, you know, the little toys, the little things you build. You get them as a kid. You make yourself a little, you know, character. You make yourself this character. You can get versions that are like heroes. You can get the Star Wars Legos. There's Harry Potter Legos. You know, all these licenses and all these options. And apparently it's become an issue with Legos because they have a lot of police enforcement ones. As you can see in this picture, there's some versions of cop Legos. There's a helicopter. There's these, you know, cop cars. There's criminal ones. You know, you could have a Lego jail in the back here. This is part of the Lego City collection. And a lot of that whole Lego City thing, which was also a video game and stuff, it involved you being like a detective catching criminals. It's just a typical setup for video games and for kids to play with. You know, you, you're cowboys versus Indians. Yeah, I don't think that's PC anymore, actually. You can't even do that anymore. And now you can't do cops versus criminals. And the problem is, basically, leftists are pro-criminal. I mean, that's the gist of it. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound leg reasonable, but why else do they hate cops so much? I mean, they're pro-criminals. They support criminals. They're doing these riots for a criminal who got killed. They're trying to get criminals out of jail. Uh, St. Louis is releasing its criminals, as are other big cities. I mean, they're pro and they're pro criminals. They're anti law. And that's what's brought us to this story. As this whole article says, it says leftists are angry that Lego hasn't virtue signaled hard enough. It only pulled ads for Lego cops, not the actual toys themselves. Woke warriors argue there are too many cops in Lego City. So, <laughs> okay, this is just ridiculous. Okay, they act like it's a real city. It's like, dude, it's just a Lego toy fake city. It's like watching a movie and saying there's too many cops in this movie or, you know, you're playing Grand Theft Auto and you're like, there's too many cops in this game. But that game, you actually are the criminals. So, I mean, that's not really the, the best example. The Lego example, it's like you're a peaceful police officer or detective and you're trying to stop crime, but that's not PC anymore. That's not cool. People hate the cops too much right now, and they're saying there's too many cops in Lego City. That just makes me laugh. Like, the fact that they're that concerned about Lego City is very interesting, and it goes to show the kinds of uh, places they go to. They want to take over popular spaces. They want to control everything. Like, they already control a lot of the media, right? They control the news. They control all the major networks. Netflix, Hollywood is all leftist. Like, there's hardly even a chance for a conservative to breathe out there, but that's not enough. They want to control toys and they want to control this toy city that has too many cops to them. Apparently, I don't know. It's it's kind of crazy. And it also is important to point out there's a little bit of a distinction here because there was a, a first version of this story where it seemed like Lego was pulling all their cop toys, but that's why they say they're not actually pulling the toys. They're pulling the ads. So there's no more promos, no more pictures on the websites. 
commercials. They're getting all that down, which honestly, like I wouldn't even hold that against them. I think it's a little bit of a kowtow, but I, I think it's understandable. You just don't want to cause controversy. You got to give corporations a little credit because they're looking to gather in the largest audience. So if something is a little bit controversial and they could easily kind of take it off the shelves or, you know, take off the commercial, that's worth it for them to do it. There's no reason for them to kind of double down, even though I would, I mean, I would support the police. I always support the police. I think the cops are heroes. That's why people want to play as them when they're kids. It's cops and robbers. You know, sometimes you want to be the robber too. That's fun. But the cops are the heroes. You know, the police are saving our lives, protecting our cities, keeping criminals off the streets. Everyone should know that. But it's just not the narrative anymore. Not in the mainstream. Not with the leftists. They hate the cops. And now they're not happy with Lego having a few of the cops in their lineups. And it's messed up. And it's just silly, too. And it's funny. And then that's why we should read more about it. Mentally deranged leftists are angry that toy maker Lego hasn't acted woke enough after the company clarified that it had only withdrawn advertising for certain products associated with police and not the toys themselves. While others seriously argue that there are too many Lego police in Lego City. So this is actually them saying they wanted those toys pulled. Like people just kind of thought that was happening, like that the the pulling of the ads, but they were pulling the toys, but that didn't happen. But now they want it to happen. They want that now, which is kind of very controlling of them. Like many other companies, Lego attempted to glom on to the unrest as a way of virtue signaling. The company asked affiliates to stop all marketing of the Lego City play sets that included police officers as well as first responders. The toy book noted that an email from Lego requested removal of product listings and features for more than 30 Lego building sets, minifigures, and accessories that include representation of police officers, firefighters, criminals, emergency vehicles, and buildings. Sets include the Lego City Police Station, Fire Station, Police Dog Unit, Patrol Car, Fire Plane, Mobile Command Center, Police Highway Arrest, and many more. Even the Lego City Donut Shop opening set, which includes police officer Duke Detain and Crook minifigures, Role play items including a police handcuffs and badge set and the adult builder Lego creator version of the White House made the removal list. Okay, the White House is getting out of there too. <laughs> and they're taking out all the cops. Man, is it, isn't it true? Like, I mean, this is just showing how bad this anti-cop stuff is going. That's where we're gone too far. I don't get the hate for cops. Like, I don't get how that is even related to this story. It's like the guy... The, the guy that died, it was bad. Yeah, they were cops. They were arresting him. But it doesn't reflect on all cops. Like, all cops aren't bad. There's bad people in every profession. Like, there's every kind of killer has had a job or something. I mean, I guess not always. Some of them are just losers who stay at home and, you know, steal stuff or whatever. But, yeah, it's just because a teacher ends up killing someone doesn't mean all teachers are evil. Just because, you know, someone in your hospital like a nurse happens to be a little crazy and acting nervous or something that doesn't mean all nurses are crazy and nervous it's just this kind of extrapolation it doesn't add up and the numbers don't add up either like the fact of the matter is we're talking about this police brutality claim and they're acting like these cops just kill minorities for no reason all the time that doesn't happen i mean we would certainly know about it because even in this one case this happened and we're all talking about it all nonstop. So we would have heard about the other ones before, but it's just not as prevalent as they claim. Lego then set about a blackout virtue signaling effort as many other companies have. And then here's their tweet. Here's them just kind of fully caving in. It says, we stand with the black community against racism and inequality. There is much to do. We will donate $4 million to organizations dedicated to supporting black children and educating all children about racial equality. Well, the thing is, we already have a lot of equality here in America. It's pretty darn fair. And the fact that you're trying to fight for something we already have, it kind of implies what do you want? You want to do something different. You want to kind of put these minorities above us. They're trying to not be equal. This isn't about equality anymore. This is about preferential treatment. You're talking about giving someone better, different treatment than other people. That's why they're anti-cop because they're saying, oh, you arrest this minority but they're not actually being held to the same standard when they commit a crime they're not a bad guy they become a hero actually and they get propped up in the media people make shirts with their faces on it you know draw murals like if you're a criminal 
that's where it happens in the black community. But in the other ones, I mean, we're actually supposed to look down on criminals. We're actually supposed to look down on innocent cops doing their jobs. I mean, that's how crazy our side has become. So there's not really a lot of equality here. There's not really as much racism as they claim. I don't think anyone is defending what happened. Like it was certainly wrong. And I don't want racism to happen. And I, if there are more bad events, like let's hear about them, let's fix it. Let's punish the criminals and the people abusing people. I'm all for that, but we're not really seeing that. All I'm seeing is a lot of talk and a lot of hateful kind of anti-white rhetoric, like saying, you know, white people are racist, white supremacy, cops are all offensive, and they're trying to defund the police too. And yeah, seeing this Lego thing is just really disheartening too, because Lego is a wholesome like family company for kids. Everyone loves Legos. I love them still. Like I used to play with them as a kid. I obviously don't have a bunch of Legos now, except for some old ones in my mom's closet or something in my mom's storage. But yeah, I still have the Lego love in my heart. And they also have a lot of cool stuff in the present. Like for older people, they have Lego video games. They're actually pretty fun. They're a little bit on the easy side, but they're interesting nonetheless. That Lego City game I was telling you about was actually really cool. And you could run around the whole city. It was kind of like Grand Theft Auto with Legos. And I liked it. I like a lot of Lego stuff. So to see them totally cave in, I mean, it's expected. I understand they're just trying to sell their product and they got to do a PR move here. But it would be more exciting to see them refuse or just stay out of this. But I understand at the same time, I'm not trying to hold it against them. Real problem here is the people trying to force these companies into kowtowing. That's the part that's the most messed up. But the company soon had to clarify that it wasn't pulling any actual products from shelves after confusion arose. We've seen incorrect reports that we've removed some Lego sets from sale. To be clear, that's not the case. We already know all about this. When hyperventilating leftists realized that the huge multinational company wasn't actually removing any toys, all hell broke loose. Oh, well, never mind all the goodwill you had suddenly. What we've actually done is nothing. Okay, thanks. Stop selling the cop sets. That would have been the right move. I hate to think how much we've spent on Legos for our kids and grandkids and others over the years. No more, none. So these leftists, they thought they had them. And then they turn on them so quick. These guys turn on each other. They have no loyalty. They won't give them a benefit of the doubt either. Like how I was trying to be generous and trying to be like cool with Lego. I want to give you a chance, but they'll turn on them. They, if you don't do exactly what the leftists say, they want to control you awesomely, completely. Every single move is in their hands. They want to be in charge. I, on the other hand, I think a lot of rational people, a lot of right-leaning people, you know, it's like, okay, take it or leave it. Maybe you're on my side. Maybe you're not. Maybe we disagree on this. I wouldn't have done that. But, you know, I'm still giving my love to Lego. I'm still telling you guys how much I've supported them over the years, and I still like their stuff. But, no, leftists don't even care because they weren't really fans in the first place. Like, most of the time they go into these spaces, like, this is Legos. They've done this in comic books. They've done this in video games, like all these other platforms and areas, they invade them and try to act like they care, but they're not real fans. They're not really interested. They just want to take over things that are popular. Lego is really popular. It's just like these video games that have been ruined, TV shows, comic books, comic book movies, all this stuff. Like They just invade popular spaces that they really didn't have an investment in or care about. So that's why they come out and they can turn on them so quick. That's why they don't care about the quality. They don't have an interest in the product like we do they don't have an actual fandom like we're actually supportive we want the things to do good and it just shows the big difference and how i don't get why people even mess with this leftist stuff because they're just untrustworthy they're just you know they'll turn on you you just can't even take this stuff seriously that about wraps things up i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below are you a fan of lego did you see this whole debacle unfold are you still going to buy legos after this Comment that below. Also hit the like button and until next time, you guys have a great day.